Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bag Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Tuesday, February 27th. And on Tuesdays, I read our prayer list. So I'm going to go through that pretty quick. And then I'll read our devotional. Uh, prayer list goes as follows. Jody Fink, Krista Sorrells, Kelly Manier, Cindy and Robert with Pups and Crochet, Linda Coulter and family, Marcia Norton and family, Lisa the Grammy, Deborah Hypes, Camper 14, also known as Tina, Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy, Sheena Sorrells, Destiny Sorrells, Mama G Gear, Linda, just another crochet sister, Rachel Crawley, Flynn, Paula and Don Mahoney, Nakima Bias, Dwayne and Michelle, Karen Woodward, Annette Delaney, Brandy Showalter, Vonda Strausser, Serena, Debbie Wheeler, Debbie A, uh, Melanie, Lisa, Eric and Diana, Sarah in England, Devin Jenkins, Shri Carr and family, Crystal, Cr Crystal, Mary Jane, uh, Pam Sauce and family, Jacob and family, Terrell and David Owens, Dee Dee Christensen and John Warden, Angela Brenham, Michelle J, Dwayne Roberts, Michelle, uh, um, sorry, uh, Johnny Williams, Ariel, Rick Harris, Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher and her family, Angela Turner and family, Dana Clark, Thriss and Stitches, Tamara, Glen Glendala McCorkle, Carolyn Cartwright, Deanna Young and family, Jill and Jonathan, Sheila Emerson, Rochelle Smith and family, Donna R, Miriam Fernandez and family, and Bonnie Myers. So if you would please remember those folks in your prayers, I'd greatly appreciate it, as I'm sure they would as well. Uh, Tuesday, February 27th, our devotional starts with a uh, Bible verse as usual. It goes as follows, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Philippians 4.4, 4. now our inspirational story. Recently, my daughter was visiting our home with her toddler and baby just before bedtime. My three-year-old granddaughter, Amelia, hurt herself while playing. It wasn't anything serious, but since she was already tired, she couldn't be consoled. That's when Nana came to the rescue. In a moment, I swooped her up. I rocked her and gently spoke to her. I suggested reading stories, and she settled and to, she settled to listen. My granddaughter's joy returned as she snuggled in bed with her blanket, favorite toy, and me and me curled up by her side. My calm, steady presence was exactly what Amelia needed. Can you relate? I can. Often I desire the same from Jesus when I am hurt, exhausted, and overwhelmed. To rejoice in the Lord is to be calmed and delighted in His presence. When I am hurting, it's not as if all the pain immediately goes away. Instead, a quiet joy comes from the fact that Jesus is there. As I come to understand that the Lord is near, I find comfort in Him. I also find hope when I give Jesus my concerns in prayer. Then calmness settles in and peace comes. The situation doesn't always change. But I'm grateful that my Jesus does. Just as Amelia needed Nana, it's all, it's only with Jesus that I find tiny slivers of joy in challenging situations. Thankfully, I can turn to Jesus again and again, always rejoicing in Him. Trisha Goyer, Faith Step. Consider a situation that has you worried, anxious, or in pain. Picture yourself as a child with Jesus beside you. Find comfort in his nearness and rejoice at his, his calm, steady presence. I think we can all benefit from this very much. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.